Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and a question that comes regularly came in today again and it always has to do with the uh, optional updates and should I or should I just leave it alone? Should I install them? Uh, what's the risk and so on? So and what what are they? What do they bring exactly? So your machine, of course, when you go to Windows Update on Windows 10, um, you have the regular updates. So the updates that will show up here will generally be the patch Tuesday update security or the optional updates for bug fixing. Um, there might be sometimes uh, other types of update that could show up, but in general, it stays pretty much at that. But um, our viewer has seen that there is a optional update. And when he clicked on it, he says that um, in driver updates, he has about uh, eight or nine driver updates and he was wondering should I apply them should I ignore them what should I do I don't know what to do so first of all the fact that they're optional means that it's not of primary importance it's not you know a problem but there is an update the manufacturers have updates for their hardware drivers and that means that they could have fixed some bugs, they could have fixed some performance issues, uh, and so on. And, of course, the fact that you install them or not um, relies on to you. And that means, what do I do? Well, for the most part, I try to ignore them. Pretty much all the time, I ignore them. Okay? For the most part, I will... Here, there's one that you could see on this machine, which is Intel Net 1951-50 or something some kind of uh, primary driver for the system here. Um, I don't usually go and personally, you know, check optional updates by myself. And uh, if your system is performing well, if it doesn't crash, freeze, or have any problems at all, my first, uh, com my first um, recommendation on this would be to ignore it. You know, I often say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And in this case, it could be better to just ignore them. But if your system is unstable, freezes, or has issues, I, that would make me want to install all of what is appearing in this list. So if you've got some problems, definitely do install them because it could be that one of the problems is due to a driver that has a problem. Uh, we often... Uh, don't know about it as a, a Windows user for most of you Windows users, basically. But drivers are high up there on the list of what makes Windows problematic. Uh, when I see people saying, you know, I tried to do this or that and I blue screen, um, well, very often something about the hardware or the drivers that are installed. Um, I'll say it again and again. A lot of people think Windows has a big problem, but in reality, 95 plus percent of all Windows crashes and blue screens are not even due to Windows. So that's something to think about. Sometimes it's a mix in the different software and some drivers and so on. It's a very complex situation, especially when an operating system has to deal with billions of different configurations. So for the most part, I will ignore it. And if you have issues, then maybe, um, you know, Maybe you could install them and see what it does. What if you're one of those that installs them all the time? Well, for the most part, I would say that most of the time it doesn't hurt. And most of the time it'll be okay. So I know some of you go there intentionally, install them intentionally. They want to have everything up to date. Um, is it a good habit or not? It's not necessarily a bad habit, but um, from experience personally. Could happen sometimes we get bitten by a bad driver update but for the most part it goes well if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching